Hello, welcome back to the videos on the YouTube. <laughs> um, as you may know, I occasionally do videos um, where I look at ace representation in the media and then kind of do a, a review of it, um, let you know how it is. Um, and one big one that I haven't done is uh, Blaisdell Horseman, uh, which is the pinnacle of ace representation, according to a lot of people that I've spoken to. Um, but I don't like what it looks like, so I haven't watched it yet. Um, <laughs> so today, I'm I'm here with Amir, who has been on the channel before, albeit a very long time ago. Um, because he has watched Project Horseman, and he's doing my job for me. Um, so <laughs> introduce thyself, Amir. Okay, so yeah, I'm Amir Matani. I am asexual, aromantic, and my pronouns are he, him. And I run the YouTube channel uh, Moviemation, um, where basically I talk about animated related stuff, not really reviews anymore, but anything else. And yeah, I've, I'm right at the end of Bojack Horseman. I haven't fully finished it. I've got like two episodes, well, three episodes or something left, but yeah, pretty much everything else I've watched. And I've seen all as long as there's not any age representation at, like in the last few episodes, I've seen all of it. Yeah, we're gonna have a little chat about that and no spoiling the ending in the comments then, because... No, done. <laughs> <laughs> Mia wants to finish it first. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, was trying to, I was trying to get to the end of it before this, but um, I've been busy, just hasn't happened. <laughs> no, that's but, fair. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, we should probably start with what is Bojack Horseman? What's his, what is the show in general about? Okay, so basically, um, without trying to spoil anything too much, um, it's about this horse called Bojack Horseman. I mean, they're basically um, anamorphic, kind of human-like people. <laughs> I don't know. And, um, <laughs> anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic, anthropomorphic. Yeah, that's right. Anthropomorphic. People. I, don't, I, I don't even know what I said. Like, <laughs> like Fox McCloud. Yeah. And um, basically, yeah, it's this guy that was um, really big in the 90s on this TV show. And um, basically, the TV show happened, it finished, and it's kind of dealing with the aftermath of that. So all the struggles he's going through, kind of feeling like people should recognize him at times and they don't, and just dealing with all the money he's got in the sense of he's got money, but he feels kind of lonely and not too happy um, in the state that he kind of is. And um, yeah, it just kind of, it's one of these shows where it kind of starts somewhere and then it just kind of builds up and it's still people do it pretty much to the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's quite quite a serious show, if I understand correctly. It gets quite Yeah, it's dark. it's very funny. It's um it, it's it's a show that I laugh at in pretty much every episode, but it also does get really serious and it does handle some really mature topics and mm. it handles them quite well. Yeah. yeah, so I suppose if that's something you're interested in, uh and you hadn't heard that it has Ace Rep in and you might be interested in, now you can leave the video and take away my views and go watch it and then come back. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll try not to spoil too much in it. Um, yeah. Other than obviously who the Ace character is. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the Ace character, um, Todd, Todd Chavez, I believe his name is. Yeah. Um, who, who, he's obviously not the main character in this show. Uh, no. It's an overview of who he is. <clears throat> Yeah, so I kind of think of him as the comic relief kind of character. He's the one that's the more, I mean, they're all pretty funny, but he's the one that comes out with the most humor, I'd say. He's, he's basically kind of just always there. <laughs> he's not like the main character, but he's always there kind of planning stuff or, you know, um, coming up to <laughs> coming up with some mischief most of the time, to be honest. Mm. I, I don't feel like it's too much of a spoiler to say that he, the, kind of a running gag with him is he comes up with these crazy ideas and him and another character kind of, like to go ahead with it and it's all the humor with that because the ideas are usually quite silly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So is he, is he a pretty main character then? Because I feel like a lot of, in a lot of race representation, it's a very minor character is maybe in for any episode or two. Yeah, well, um, I'd say he's kind of a secondary character maybe. Mm. Like he's in the show a lot. Um, it's not like a character that's pushed to the side like an ace yeah. character, well, a queer character in, in a Disney show or whatever, but um, <laughs> but um, yeah, he is he is in there quite a bit, and the ace representation is really good, I'd say. 
Nice. I guess we should start talking about the asexual representation and in particular how they introduce asexuality into Bojack Horseman. Yeah, so um, yeah, it was, it was quite exciting to be honest because they basically just, they didn't shy away from saying the word or anything. They, Todd basically said that he thinks he's asexual and actually he was talking to a friend. He said to the friend how he was feeling and then she said that you might be asexual and then um, yeah, he kind of was questioning it for a little bit and then he kind of fully realised that he was asexual. Yeah, because this um, is his arc yeah. in regards to that is a uh, coming out story, right? He didn't know about being yeah. asexual before. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And um, there's also, again, I'm not going to go into too many specifics, but there are other ace characters in it too, which is quite nice. They are quite minor characters though. From the, from the sounds of it, it's definitely good um, representation. Uh, but uh, in terms of how it explains the orientation itself, do you think it does a good job of explaining asexuality? Yeah, um, yeah. So for asexuality, I think it did a pretty good job. Um, it didn't go into every aspect of it. Like um, I don't, from what I remember, there wasn't um, like like demisexual. I don't think that was mm. mentioned. But um, I mean, the thing is, how they did it is. They didn't do it in a way that was, um, they did it in a way that kind of made sense for the show. So they couldn't explain everything, if you know what I mean, because it wouldn't sound. Um, yeah, it's not, it's like not, natural, natural, not natural part of conversation where exactly. you're like, and asexuality <laughs> is when you feel no sexual attraction. And also. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, but they did do it in a way, like they kind of spread it out quite well in the sense of mm. they showed different characters and like one character had a partner and um, and the character was still asexual. So we yeah. kind of got to know about um, the kind of aromanticism spectrum in that sense. Like they didn't name it, but yeah. Um, yeah. So they, they gave examples of how you can be asexual, but in a relationship, but they don't ex didn't explicitly, explicitly say like, oh, this person is heteroromantic. I think that's probably a more natural way to do it than just have a character almost have exposition of what um, their orientation is and who all these other people are and all their orientations because that wouldn't naturally come up in conversation. Mm. Um, and I think it probably works well, maybe not as an all-encompassing educational thing, but as a jumping off point if someone's like, oh, well, maybe I feel like this person and then I can look into it further and that's what the internet and Aiden is for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it is really good for that. Because, um, I mean, they do mention the word asexual, so people know where to start with it. And, yes. Um, yeah, it's a good jumping off point, I'd say, yeah. Nice. Um, so we were kind of already answering my next question and what, it, what does it do well, but is there any further things yeah, there, you'd like to say? There is, um, there, there is one thing I just remembered, actually. Um, they did, again, it's not too much of a spoiler, but they did show that Todd did experiment with relationships in the mm. past, too, which is quite good. So, um kind of a bit through pressure and stuff he yeah he tried out relationships and to see if they work and stuff and mm. it wasn't until after that that he realized so they also showed that if you have experiment experimented with relationships in the past you can still be asexual yeah yeah um so was that experimenting with sexual relationships or just romantic um no, it wasn't um, sexual for my remember, just kind of romantic. I mean, yeah. um, Todd is, he, he, he does come across as aromantic. Um, okay. yeah. yeah. But yeah, he did experiment with like romantic relationships in the past and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, I was going to, that was going to be my question if, it, uh, if you thought it was aromantic or something else, because I realized I didn't specify yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does come across as very um, aromantic because he just doesn't seem that interested at all, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. Um, so obviously it sounds very good, uh, from now, but do you think there's anything it does poorly or do you think they could do better? Yeah. Um, it's kind of a hard one because I think Todd's character being so goofy and the kind of comic relief might kind of be a bit of a disadvantage because it's kind of, because the thing is, he's kind of a bit naive too. Mm. So it, people possibly might link the two, like think, it's kind of because he's asexual that he's naive and stuff like that. They might kind of link the two. Yeah. 
Um, I was thinking about it and I don't know if they could have really improved it in the sense of mm. like put it with another character or something because the main characters are like fully definitely not asexual. Yes, yeah. And, um, yeah, I think going with any other character might have been a bit more minor. Um, yeah, so within, I, the, within the context of the story, you think they did the yeah, best job they I could mean, have done. I think I think it helps out a bit that there's other characters, but with Todd being such a kind of central character mm. and being <laughs> so goofy, um, I mean, yeah. he's the comic village basically. Yeah, that's that's the only time I kind of that's the only thing that kind of made me not too happy about it. If you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, because I think uh, a lot of the time, uh, Aces can be misconceived as being more childish yeah so um obviously that might be problematic uh for uh kind of falling into a trope um but do you think that that's do you say that the the representation is is harmed because of that because obviously uh, from what i've heard it's very good um yeah um be because that's the only kind of disadvantage i feel like it does so much well like it's in terms of how much they show and how much they kind of indirectly explain it, I feel like it's way more than in other TV shows I've seen anyway. Mm. So I feel like the pros outweigh the kind of minor disadvantage or yeah. negative about it. Yeah. So so I think I think overall it's I'd say it's very positive. I mean I've seen um I've seen people who have said that they um discovered asexuality through it and stuff. Mm. And yes, um, I think having having a representation, especially like it's it's not just one episode which is just on this thing. Yeah. It's several episodes over a couple of series, I think, um, seasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it, it's it's not like from what I've heard, it's quite a sexual show. Like it's adult yeah. animation, so um, yeah, um, it's, it's a good. I think that's a good place to have that sort of representation, just because people who aren't a spec are more likely to come across it. Mm. So um, and then people maybe who are questioning or who hadn't considered it, but then recognize some similarities with themselves can, can see Todd and be like, oh, maybe I'm like that too. Yeah, I, I mean, I was, I was going to get into it a bit later, but um, yeah, it is quite sexual, the show. Um, so... The thing is, um, I like the show so much that that's not enough to put me off. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I just kind of skip through some bits and stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's appealing to, um, I'd say it appeals to quite a wide range of people. Um, mm. I mean, if you fully sex repulsed, I'd say you should probably steer away from it. Because um, mm. it does get quite explicit sometimes. I mean, yeah. there's not on... There's not like full on nudity, but like um Car full on are... cartoon nudity. <laughs> yeah, there's not there's not I mean the under sheets and stuff, but um I'm not sure if yeah, I feel does, more comfortable quite... with like human nudity or 2D anthropomorphic animal nudity. Um, yeah. <laughs> they're both equally as disturbing to my brain. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean I do usually just want to skip through it, but um yeah. Yeah, I think I think maybe give it a go. Like, um, I'd say skip over the first episode because the first episode doesn't really add anything. It's kind of just meh. Um, to be honest, it kind of put me off a, a bit before I came back to it. But um, as of the second episode, I think the stuff you see in that episode, I don't think it's it doesn't get too much worse in terms of how, how sexual it is. So if you get through the second episode, you might you be fine for the rest of it. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, it gives it gives kind of an idea of what to expect. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, so I think that probably about wraps it up. Uh, unless, is there anything else you would like to say about the show, the representation, Mister Chavez with his beanie? Yeah. Um, okay. One thing. One thing I'll add is the representation does come quite late into it. Hmm. It's. I think early season five, it comes into it and it goes up to season six, like season six is where it ends. So there is quite a lot to get through before you get to the representation. Um, 
but once you get to it, it is really nice because um, I think I think it leads into season six a bit. But um, basically, throughout season five, it's kind of sprinkled in throughout it. Yeah. Um, there's there's a little bit in season six too, and um, yeah, it's just it's really nice representation. I mean, I feel like if you if the show doesn't work for you, maybe just kind of search up the scenes themselves. Like, yeah, if I think, you know, I think yeah, I'll, I'll leave. Gonna watch it. I'll yeah. leave. Um which episodes they are in the description below once I find out what they are. So You can definitely tell that they have done their research. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that there's really, I don't think there's really anything in it other than the Todd character that feels kind of misinformed or kind of like it's a straight person's perspective on asexuality or something like that. It yeah. does feel like they do, that it feels like they've done their research. Yeah, um, it feels like an really asexual character, yeah. not, not just just uh, someone shooing an info representation yeah. points or whatever. Um, yeah. Nice. Uh, I think that's all. Um, normally at this point, I would ask you what your favorite cake is, but you've already answered that question. So, and I honestly can't remember because it was like <laughs> over a year um, ago. Uh, that honestly, I, I, think, I think I've even forgotten what I said my favorite was. Well, you have the opportunity <laughs> to change the sacred tablet of cakes. <laughs> Um, because um, that exists. To, to be honest, I don't think I've really got a favor now. Um, I feel like I thought something up for that episode, but um, it can be. Uh, I, to be honest, I just like I, I just like all cakes. <laughs> I, th I think I said something like cakes with lots of icing on it. I mean, I like icing. So yes, Amir, would you like to plug your stuff again uh, before we head off? Yeah. So um, I'm Movie Mation on. Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, on Instagram, it's, well, it's Instagram. On Twitter, it's movie underscore mission because somebody took movie mission. Oh, and um, <laughs> I know it's really annoying. <laughs> Fortunately, um, slice of ace is isn't taken on anything, so I'm I'm good. Like my, my YouTube uh, thingy yeah. and the uh, Twitter handle, yeah, it, everything's it, fine. It's, it's annoying too because it's like a really it's it's like a guy that's like not even used it in ages too. Uh. Um, so yeah, yeah. Bye, <laughs> um yeah but um yeah i definitely i um, as i said i definitely recommend the show anyway um if you can get through it because it's one of those shows where literally throughout it i kind of have to post somewhere or like tell my friends how good it is <laughs> um because i just kind of like it that much um mm. and um yeah i mean i hope you all enjoy it too <laughs> Well, if that isn't a recommendation, recommendation, then I don't know what is. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I hope I'm not overhyping it, but I, I do. <laughs> it's well, like one of I, my I favorite think, shows in it. Yeah, uh, especially from the point of, point of representation, uh, a lot of people think that's the best that there is. So, yeah, and it's also the one that I'm not doing myself because I know <laughs> that I will not like the show even the slightest. Uh, but yes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, they're um, because they went on to make a show called Tuca and Bertie, and that's way too sexual for me. I tried, I did watch an episode of it, but and I think I watched part of this, the second episode, but um, that was way too much for me. And that's by the same people. So mm. for me, Bojack Horseman's kind of the best kind of balance. Like it's just kind of on the borderline where I can kind of manage it. Nice. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I will leave all your links in the description below if you would like to check Thanks. them out um and thank you for coming on and doing my job for me so i don't have to watch that show <laughs> that's fine thanks for having me <laughs> you're always welcome on the channel i realized earlier that um you have been seen in recent memory because you're in my um pride month thingy you had your very yeah yeah background. i was yeah yeah <laughs> And your camera, which is miles better quality than mine, which is not fair. Yeah. But yeah, uh, otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. I post videos every Saturday, so if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. There's all I have to say today. Have a wonderful day, and I shall see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, this, I definitely said this before, because I'm having deja vu about what I'm just going to ask. Is it fondant icing? <laughs> I think oh, my mouth fine, is moving busy. faster than my brain at this <laughs> moment in time, uh, which doesn't normally happen. Normally, it's the other way around. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the video. Um,